Hey everyone, this is Matt from Fidgets and Widgets. Uh, we're now going to take a look at Spencer's Metal Art, uh, or at least the three or four pieces that I have. Um, uh, we're going to do the unveiling here shortly. Uh, I am going to just spend a second to talk about this first one, which is the spine. This was uh, Spencer's Kickstarter project. Um, I think he's still going to sell these on his website. Uh, it's called the spine. It's basically again if you check fidgets and widgets you can search for it I already have a full review on this uh, but basically it's a uh, uh, and Let me get this going. It's it's a finger spinner for your keychain that type of thing um, And keeps your hand busy as well um, It's also got a uh, bottle opener um, That you can use a variety of anodizing uh, as well, it comes with a paracord. I think you can add the bead uh, as well. This is again called the spine. You can see the review, uh, whether you want the video review or the written review, it is on my site uh, and YouTube channel. So you can look that up again if you want. Again, the spine, Spencer's Metal Art. Uh, the three I'm going to look at here are uh, uh, three of my favorites uh, the Thai Stator the Stator 2.0 and a gear uh, spinner. Uh, Spencer Bloomer uh, is down in North Carolina, manufactures these. Um, his website is www.spencersmetalart.com. Uh, and as we talk about each one, um, then I'll, uh, when I finish up, I'll give you a little history on them and uh, then we'll uh, let you go. Uh, let's take a look here for the unveiling. The first one is a, this is the Stator 2.0. And let's get that in there. Uh, these are very hefty spinners, which is why I love them. Um, this is uh, um, not for the faint of heart. If you've got small hands, uh, you may prefer uh, to get more of uh, uh, something smaller, but for table spins, even with small hands, these are great for me. Uh, I just love them because, to be honest with you, it's a work of art. It's a great conversation piece. When people see this on my desk, the first thing they do is pick it up and start messing with it. And that's exactly what a fidget uh, is supposed to do. Um, in this particular case, the Stator 2.0 comes in a titanium and aluminum. Uh, this one, which is titanium, is no longer available. Uh, the reason being the, the weight of it is so heavy and the cost issue uh, with labor as well to make just took too much time. Uh, and Spencer has decided not to make uh, these any longer. The aluminum ones, he does have some left at the 80 to 110 range, depending on what you pick for, for options. Uh, but if you want the aluminum one, uh, grab it now. And uh, if you want to try, you can beg with Spencer to see if he'll still do one of these uh, beautiful pieces uh, for you as well. Um, but either way, a wonderful uh, artistic type spinner. It, uh, um, in terms of materials, uh, again, this one's titanium. You can get the weights in stainless or brass. Uh, the bearing is a uh, 608 hybrid ceramic. Uh, the buttons uh, you can get in either brass, titanium, or aluminum. Uh, in terms of uh, the weight on this puppy, uh, this one is 139 grams. Um, it's uh, dimensions, it's 3.25 uh, inches length uh, end to end. Uh, it's almost uh, an inch, basically just under an inch in terms of width button to button. Uh, and the balls, the stainless steel weights, are about three quarters of an inch in diameter themselves. Um, in terms of a spin time, uh, with the Stator uh, 2.0, I got almost four minutes. Um, I'm, it, it is hard to do, um, uh, to get it because the, the buttons and the balls, if you look there, are so close to each other. Uh, it's a little hard to do like long-term table spins with these uh, but in terms of uh, I was able to get uh, up to four minutes with this uh, out of the box um, and again we'll let that go for a second and let you see it 
It's a beautiful spinner. Again, all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, to me, I look at the artistic nature of the piece uh, along with the fidgetability, and this one strikes on all counts. Uh, just beautiful. Um, let's take a look at uh, the next one that we have. We'll set that one here so you keep that in the eye. Uh, let's do this one. Let's see what we got here. This is a uh, beautiful button on a recycled metal uh, uh, car engine part. Um, because he's in that industry, uh, he gets access to a lot of uh, uh, old gears and parts of engines and such, and then he transforms them uh, into works of art and terrific spinners. Uh, let's take a look at this. Now, well, look at that button. The button sets it off. Now, the gear itself is still nice, um, but again, it's the button uh, that really gives it some depth and uh, um, uh, makes your eyes pop on it. Again, making what would be a normal uh, engine gear into a tiny work of art. Uh, if we look at these, these run generally $7 to $80. Um, in terms of materials, uh, again, it's recycled race motors. They're all steel, but they're polished uh, with a REM process. Uh, the bearing, again, is a 608 hybrid ceramic. Uh, the buttons are aluminum, brass, or titanium. Uh, the weight on this puppy, which is wonderful for me, is 150 grams. That is a hefty spinner. Um, in terms of dimensions, it's three inches across. Uh, it's 0.625 inches button to button um, and the gear width itself here is uh, basically a quarter of an inch. Uh, in terms of uh, spin time, I was able to get 310 out of it. Um, this is just a terrific uh, addition. And we'll let that puppy go for a second. And then let's see if we can get this one going. Awesome. Okay. That will cover those two puppies. Now we're going to get to the, uh, the tri straighter. Um, or stator it is a uh, obviously a little smaller um, than uh, the father one but uh, uh, if you look at it it's still the same type of uh, uh, design family um, and we'll take a look at that and then we'll throw the spine in here so you can look at all of them together uh, but taking a look uh, specifically at the uh, uh, tie stator. Um, uh, this one again you can get in titanium, titanium or aluminum. Uh, titanium runs 130 to 160. Aluminum runs uh, 80 to 100. And depending on the combination with buttons and the, uh, uh, the weights, uh, cost can change a little bit. Uh, the, in my case this is a titanium. Uh, I went with the stainless uh, weights again. Uh, it's got the 608 hybrid ceramic bearing. Uh, and again, you can get buttons in, uh, let's see here, brass, uh, aluminum, or titanium. Uh, let's give this one a spin. Uh, this particular one uh, weighs 105 grams. In terms of its uh, dimensions, it is uh, 2.62 inches across. Uh, it's 0.625 in terms of button to button. And the uh, stainless steel weights are uh, 0.625 as well. Um, this one uh, is very difficult to do a table spin because it's, they're exactly the same height as the top of the ball. Whereas this one, uh, you can still do a table spin. Uh, this one, by doing a, a hand spin, we'll go through that time in a second. Um, but just a, a beautiful piece as well. Let's get a good look at this one. And you can see the, the anodizing and process that uh, Spencer went through on this one. Uh, just a gorgeous spinner. Again, hefty, uh, nice size. Um, again, uh, almost 
just over two and a half inches in length, but uh, terrific. Uh, spin time on this one, uh, I got three, uh, three minutes, 22 seconds, almost, uh, almost three and a half minutes. Um, again, another beautiful piece, artistic, uh, outstanding work. Um, and that is what they call, or what Spencer calls the uh, tie straighter, stator. Um, so we'll put those all in together and I'll give you a little bit of, of, of history. Um, uh, Spencer is out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, he has created what I'll call the, this electric line of, of custom spinners. The anodizing process uh, is outstanding. Uh, it's not the cheapest spinner, of course, but it's not meant to be. Uh, but for the sheer beauty of this thing, uh, one of the best uh, that I have, and certainly one of my grails, uh, is to have uh, all three of these. Um, as usual, typical spin times, nothing that's uh, 10 minutes, uh, but, I'm a but I'm a fidgeter again, and I don't really track the spin times. Um, they have a lot of weight to them. Uh, if you love a customized look on your spinner, uh, Spencer's probably where you want to look. In terms of large hands, um, again, I like them uh, tremendously. Um, and people at work, once they see these, go ooh and ah. So if you're looking for that statement conversation piece, this does it as well. Uh, Spencer himself has a full-time job with uh, Joe Gibbs Racing uh, Motocross Team, which is kind of cool. And uh, initially, he started making uh, sculptures out of used uh, parts from the engines. Uh, a lot of the time the engine parts were thrown away, shredded, recycled. Uh, some had titanium valves on them. Uh, and so he decided to take some of that stuff and make a spinning top. And then he uh, joined a uh, Facebook group, uh, po Pocket Pop Talk, and, or Pocket Top, yeah, Pocket Top Talk. And he made a few, to, made a few of them. Uh, and sold them in uh, mid-2016. Uh, then he saw a picture of the famous torque bar, uh, so he was seeing whether he could just even do it, so he made a, a clone of it in a carbon fiber, and he was showing a picture of it on the uh, Pop Talk, Top, Pop Top Talk community, and uh, they were not having any bit of that cloning stuff. Uh, so as a result, uh, he decided to move on into titanium, which offered the wire rate, a wide array of colors. He created this stator in September of that year, 2016, and did an initial run of eight. That's right, eight of these. Uh, and of course, they sold out, and then he did some design revisions, uh, and he created this one, which is the 2.0, uh, with round weights and new buttons. So while sales were good, many asked for a smaller ver version, so we came up with the tie straighter in February of 2017, and this was very popular as well, but they take a lot of time to build. He does most of it in-house, but does outsource a part of it. Uh, welding tie is a special process. Uh, here it's shown here a little bit, but welding tie, um, and you can get a real good clean weld if you do it properly. Uh, and that's how Spencer developed the voltage design uh, lines in some of his uh, spinners. After anodizing, he draws on the surface with a TIG welder at a low amp, uh, and that's how the cool silver lines appear on it. Uh, each one comes out differently. Um, if you're interested, uh, Spencer also does EDC work, spinners, tops, sculptures, uh, CAD designing, anodizing, uh, and you can find more out at his website. Again, that's www.spencersmetalart.com. I think if you're looking for some conversation pieces, uh, this is a perfect line to get into. Uh, sure, they take a lot of time, but uh, honestly, Spencer, if you do watch this, uh, uh, they're well worth the effort. I mean, these things are just gorgeous. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can always ask me or Spencer, uh, again, at spencersmetalart.com. This is Matt with Fidgets and Widgets, and uh, have a great day, and uh, hopefully you get some of these yourself. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.